Welcome today to Scout of Tabs. We are on the Brisbane River again here at the beautiful Twin Bridges and we're about to set off. So this is a cautionary tale for anyone who goes canoeing anywhere in Australia on any river, particularly on the eastern coast and eastern uh, ranges. We set off on our canoe trip as per usual. We had five canoes uh, on this trip. Uh, the yellow one was our lead one and there was uh, four, four other canoes. I was at the back. When we canoe in a group like this, we usually have to go through an obstacle one canoe at a time. The lead canoe leads the way and then we follow. Uh, the first obstacle we had to go through was the actual bridge at Twin Bridges. It's only a very small bridge and we only have two little areas we can get through on the edge. Our first few canoes went through, we sat at the back and waited. So we go up and under the bridge. Now this is a public area too, there's a lot of families around, people swimming, can canoeing, playing around in the water. So we go through the bridge. All the other canoes have gone through. It's at this stage, I start to notice something out the corner of my left hand eye. It's a snake swimming across the water, but not just any snake. It's an Eastern Brown snake swimming across the water in the whole public area. I called out immediately, snake, brown snake, get out the water. And people did get out the water. However, our lead canoe was pulled up on the other side of the bank, waiting for the rest of us to come through to ensure that we all come through the bridge safely. That snake decided it, it was going to climb up into that canoe. Well, that's when things became a little interesting. Firstly, because we had to avoid the snake, we, instead of going along with the river current, we were pushed to the other side of the river through a log jam. So we got sort of stuck at first on this log jam, which we had to get our canoe off. I could hear our lead canoe saying, get over here, I need some help. And that's when I could see the snake crawling up the side of the boat, getting into the canoe itself. They had exited the canoe and the snake had crawled up inside the canoe. Now, it took us a while to get over to the other side of the river because one, we were on a log jam and two, we were fighting a little bit of moving water. So eventually we got over there. Now we finally got over to the other side of the river and that's actually me there hopping out going up to the other canoe going, what are we going to do? By the time I got up there, the snake had crawled up into the gunnels. Now the gunnels are like a channel that runs along the top of these canoes. It's a hollow channel. This channel had two um, holes drilled in it so we could actually see the snake crawling through the gunnels. I'm going, what are we going to do? So what we ended up doing was actually tipping the canoe into the water where the snake was and I think you can just see in this footage we're trying to work out, we're picking up the canoe and we're actually holding it in the water where the snake had crawled into the gunnels. The snake eventually crawled back out the gunnels and into the canoe itself. It started swimming to the canoe where we both grabbed the edge of the canoe and flipped it over on the water. So the canoe was actually upside down in the water with the snake inside it. The canoe upside down in the water, the snake is somewhere floating in that canoe and in that water and we're going oh gosh what will we do so i said let's quickly pull it back so we picked it up quickly and pulled it back and as we did that the snake swung off back opposite over the other side of the river and left us i think the scariest thing about the whole event was a a snake could just jump up into a canoe and two it was an eastern brown now 
Anyone who knows snakes knows that the Eastern Brown is in the top 10 venomous snakes in the world. And even though it was only quite a small snake, probably, it's venomous enough to kill you. So a little cautionary tale and something we learnt too is always be on the lookout for snakes when you're on the river. Ah, they can jump into your canoe. Now something you get particularly with this part of the Brisbane River is little rapids or moving water we call them as well little areas of the river where the it's a little bit shallower and it's going over some rocks and it's a little faster but it can be a lot of fun but it's also a cautionary tale here we are having a bit of fun going through the rapids here you guys Whoa. You also, we have a bit of fun just floating down the river. If you jump on an inflatable and you put your feet out, making sure you have your feet forward, head back, and just float down on the rapids, you can have a lot of fun. Uh, the only thing to be aware of too is just being able to get out. We all had life jackets on and we kept ourselves quite safe. So let's paddle on to my number three story. We came across this fella today, this sunken kayak. We had a bit of a heads up about this one because we already knew that it was there. It was on the Scouts Queensland Paddling Pursuits page. We saw it about a week ago. Someone had taken a photo of it. It's a good little kayak and it's a cautionary tail. Some of these areas you just cannot paddle through, you shouldn't paddle through. You need to get out and walk and particularly here, this one was a shocker. The kayak itself was well it was gone it was totally wrecked it had a hole in it so we couldn't even rescue it ourselves just to be aware that even though it might look like it's easy going it's not just hop out and walk your canoe anyway that's our three little tales from today or my three little tales from today great little paddle hope to see you around thanks for watching bye <laughs>